the moment you begin to become embarrassed to acknowledge god publicly is a symptom of pride before god lifted you you could kneel down and lie down and roll on the floor but right now you are you make sure you are calculated i i can't let this my this my expensive cloth on the ground even god knows that it's not cheap the ones that i bought it the amount that i know he saw me roll on the ground with that one and god says this is for me the 24 elders take up their golden crown not not rubber crown not metallic crown golden crown they drop it on the ground and they say holy 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 that's what keeps them as elders so the day they stop doing that they are no longer elders that's what keeps them as elders holy to him who sits on the throne they don't worship everybody in heaven the one to be worshipped is clear to him who sits on the throne the pride of life nothing wrong with getting all the good things can you stand in front of your mansion and roll on the ground before god and say lord you are the doer of this let men devils and angels know that if it had not been the lord by my side now may israel say god is increasing you in ministry and you stand before men i'm not talking of shake sh uh, faking and carrying a form of pride whereas a uh, humility and your heart is proud no that you can sincerely you see people can discern the purity of what you are doing you can stand here and be saying oh god you are the doer and people know that it's just talk in your heart you are saying i'm the doer there is absolutely nothing that you see happening in this house by the grace of God that would not happen if I'm not here. It's a privilege to receive and to spearhead what God is doing. It's a revelation we must have. Some of us, money has brought a lot of pride. There's nothing wrong with having money. But many times, pride money i have millions i have estates thank god congratulations we appreciate and respect you for paying that price to have this but can i tell you 10 minutes without breathing and all that thing it is wicked people who will fight over it while you are gone Listen, realize the brevity of life outside of the help of god it is it is when you wake up in the morning you can think of doing real estate it is when you wake up in the morning you can think of preaching if it did not wake me this morning there will be no rema there will be no revelation there will be no koinonia so you can say thank you jesus before men and they say why are you falling in our hand we know that you are an intelligent person you are a professor by excellence and you said the fact that my brain is working i don't make the brain work i only read through a brain that is working the one who made the brain work is the one who deserves the glory can i tell you this many of us i'm sharing with you a secret that's why you found out that you stopped rising a long time ago go back to that place where you started with god roll on the floor and say jesus you are the one who i repent forgive me for the foolishness of forgetting about you i started thinking about my titles every time i see anything good whether it's a text whether whatever it is that people do i just stand before him and i say lord you know you see my heart i never had plans for anything if you never blessed me if you never gave me ministry i am still grateful but that you have done this I return back I'm telling you sincerely and I'm only saying this because I'm teaching on this I return back every time from the miracle service or from any service once I'm done and all things are done I get down on my knees and I say father you have done it again thank you thank you thank you thank you while I'm saying it text messages are coming from all over the world mighty man of God I say Lord that is dedicated to you they are just trying to say you are great what they are trying to say is galatians 1 24 and they glorified god in me but lord i'm like a host as that glory is passing 
may no devil trap it and kill me down there mm -mm. let it pass and go to him who is due all the glory all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you. Oh. Please help those on that yellow thing. Ah. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you. Oh God. One more time. All the glory belongs. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Hear me? No matter who you are, and no matter what God gives you, if you are flying a private jet, you are not the wind that is holding the jet. You only had money to buy it from a man who manufactured it. I'm not being sarcastic, I'm only challenging you. If you win an election, as you sit down on that seat while people are clapping just tell them thank you excuse them out lock the door of your office and roll on the ground say lord i knew that i would have lost this election you are the doer and god says because you have done this i vow that you will remain here and anybody that tries to fight you i will scatter them into pieces god helps you as a man of god every sunday you come if you see one member that comes to share what God has to say give God thanks oh if I come here and I find 10 people I will preach with the same fire and the same passion I stand before the God who called me and I'm telling you this it's not about the crowd no it is an honor to talk to one person about Jesus to make an altar call and to be in partnership with the Holy Ghost to save lives listen to me the car you have in your house came by his mercy the house you have came by his mercy i have houses in europe i have houses in america congratulations there are people who have houses but they are mad today their brains are not coordinated again to even travel there as the, the houses they have everywhere their prayer is for survival lord let me leave can i tell you this the most dangerous thing about pride is not that you will be fought the most dangerous thing about pride is who will fight you the bible says god resisted if men fight you you can go to god and say, my father my maker men are disturbing me if demons fight you you can go to god and say this three months again you can use his name if god fights you will you use his name to cast him the name of the Lord is the highest and if the one the owner of the name is fighting you every other altar would join him to fight you too can I tell you this let me tell you how you know God is fighting a man everything fights him too you when everything is fighting you I care it for me the hand of God is there resisting you everything favor will fight you Good things will fight you. Prophecy will fight you. It is dangerous for God to be against a man. Lord, you gave me this beauty. I'm a beautiful woman, beautiful lady. And God says, nonsense. If you die, your beauty will not resurrect you. You acknowledge him lord i am a great man is because i'm intelligent that's why companies are calling on me and god says nonsense ah. it is not of him that will it nor of him that run it but of the lord that showeth mercy i share with you a secret is one of the graces at work in this house sometimes we see people say apostle you are humble you are simple and i say my humility it didn't come from my background just like that it's a revelation I am aware that God can fight a man. It is dangerous to be at the other side of that battle. Rewards of humility. We are about to pray. Please sit down and write this down. Rewards of humility. 
Hmm. Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 4. Please never forget this scripture. Can we read it together? Proverbs 22 and verse 4. Are you ready? One to read. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. One more time. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor. Are you seeing that riches is not the same as honor? You can have riches and not have honor. You can have riches and honor and not have life. There is a relationship between untimely death and pride. There is a relationship between humility and longevity. James chapter 4 from verse 6. Then we go to verse 10. James 4. But he giveth more grace. One of the blessings there. Wherefore he saith, God resisted the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Please go to verse 10. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, Koinonia, and he shall lift you up. That's where the secret is. Koinonia, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. Apostle Joshua Selman, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. Man of God, businessman, politician, whoever and wherever, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and there is a reward for it. He will lift you. So when you see a people who you never see their end, they have mastered this ladder, this lift called humility. What is humility? It is not denying what God has done in your life. Vocally, publicly, intentionally, continually as the basis that when it's all said and done, more than your intellect, more than your business the doer of every good thing that's humility so you can stand before your estates you can stand before all of your credentials and all, all of that you can stand before the prosperity the bank accounts carrying the billions world over wonderful they are only profitable when you stand and say lord it is not unto these things but unto you i lift my hands and i lift my voice and i will let the world know that it is because of you that these things are before me we are not ashamed to tell the world today world over that jesus is the reason for what we call koinonia today joshua selman is nothing without him koinonia is nothing without him it's one thing to have the ability to preach and teach and heal and minister but it's another thing for god to draw people from world over to come and listen and to submit to the grace of God committed to you man of God never get to a point in your life where you become too big to acknowledge Jesus thank God for all of these little things here and there the security that help for I, I tell you I have a confession you ask the protocol department and the security people this is my fight with them they are doing their job professionally but if it's up to me I went at this place you will not know if I have a way of just entering there to carry my Bible once it's time I just appear here and preach and disappear I will do it with joy it's just that there are some levels in life no matter what happens there's nothing you can do about it I know that while some of you watch all these things some of you are admiring it and that's what drives you be careful God is warning you now God is warning you now God is warning you now you are laughing but God is serious God is warning you now read yourself from all of these lusts you will be celebrated for sure nations will call you blessed for sure but let them be the one to clap while you point them to Jesus forever Jesus will remain glorified in my life glorified in this ministry and glorified in your life also that when men look at you and say from whence come at this lifting others are saying there is a casting down what is happening to your business that you are rising in leaps and bounds i just hear you open a new office you don't just laugh and say well say it again no don't say they know tell them 
you are the doer jesus i acknowledge you and they say please leave those spiritual things what did you do and tell them no 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 i will not leave it this is how it happened i don't know how it happened for others what is the secret to this your peace your children are well behaved everybody's respectful who says because they know me go and ask them how disciplined their father and their mother are am i wasting your time can i tell you this you've heard me say it when i had this encounter with the lord where he taught me the lifting power of humility this was what the lord told me son if you will let men see me there is nothing i will not give you this is what god told me ah for men to see you that's that's fine john chapter 3 and verse 30 must be the lesson that everybody takes home today as far as humility is concerned he must increase but i must decrease decrease does not mean diminish decrease does not mean go back no that you exalt him how do you know you are humble when men look at you they remember jesus not you when men look at you they know they see all the miracles they see the signs and the wonders they see god lifting you and all they can say is lord you are a wonder when men look at you and it's only your praises they sing something is wrong with your approach for everything god has done in this life for everything god has done in this ministry truly to him be the glory to him be the glory to him be the honor no man on earth should give glory to himself all the glory listen let me show you what humility does you stand here lord you are the lifter of my heart i give you all the praise and god says you have done this at this level you don't have a car you don't have a bike you are not doing anything and you are acknowledging me let's go higher you don't know that the, the ultimate goal is to take you there once you are here people say my god you are already at this level and the holy spirit to say remember what you did when you were here do it again he's giving and pride you say i'm comfortable i mean now you can see me and some people remain here forever till they find out they're already down here again but some other people stand here and while people are looking at you you are even you are distracted you are not distracted by what they are doing they call you all kinds of name daddy apostle whatever thank god for those things but your attention is with jesus are you ready for this he lifts you to the next level you became a governor you became a senator you became a man of god now he trusted you one branch two branch two branches three branches he now helped you and you say lord even at this point may the nation see you through my life and men look at you and say be honest jerry enjoy this thing enjoy this moment and sometimes you can be distracted and then he calls you back i have other people who need to rise if you want to make this space vacant i will fight you to make it vacant and leave others and you say no no i remember how you brought me and he will still find you in the night rolling and he says you are ready he will move you to another one when he moves you you will not be alone you'll find other people that he moved there too they will now start distracting you let's focus on laughing at those who are down and you tell them i don't know how you got here but me i know how god brought me here and i will not be distracted many times when you are up here it looks like there are other people below you let's gossip let's mock let's push them let's fight anybody who wants to come down there are people who will remain here for 30 years until they start going down 
by the time they are 50 they are back here you say i thought i used to know you here they say condition is a lie the path of the just is as a shining light when your tomorrow becomes greater becomes worse than your yesterday it is pride a man's tomorrow should not be like this no you know people who are walking in humility because you never see them at the last level you saw them you are right here at this point people are already calling you things papa if you are in ministry you are mentoring people everybody they are just blessing you inviting you around the whole world you are in hotels you are having all kinds of cars jeeps you are enjoying everything zero and then one night if god wants to help you he will call you and say my son i'm still waiting for you where we used to meet before don't distract me oh god the spotlight is on me this was what i looked for growing up this was what i wanted people said i will not make it now that i've made it let me stand so that i can savor the moment and he says my son we still have other heights to climb don't stop here but there are others may you be part of them tonight in my life be glorified be glorified in my life be glorified be glorified you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor i just want to say thank you you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor i just want to say thank you while you are busy singing this song and living this song with your life men will open their eyes and find you here you are standing with kings and nations and they say we used to know him ah humility has a lifting power it will shift your background shift your gender shift what men said they can say while you rise they can talk while you are lifted i tell you this the end of a man who is truly humble cannot be predicted by any mortal man on earth there is no prophet there is no apostle whose eye can see as far as a man with humility can go only god can tell the end of a humble man just when you think he has attained that god now lifts him again to another season hear me we're about to pray the lord brought you to church tonight to show you that there is a secret men do not just rise god is the lifter of men